Hi friends. This is a follow-up video for the wheat berries and hamburger. This is what the wheat berries looks like. Dried. And then here's what they look like um, cooked. They're really soft once they're cooked and kind of like mashy. And um, I did make hamburger patties out of that two pounds of hamburger meat that I bought at Winco. And um, I did mix it with like almost a whole onion. And um, I didn't have any breadcrumbs available. So I tried to pack as much as I can to stretch out my meat. And um, so I only had wheat berries, cooked wheat berries and a whole onion diced and I mixed it with salt and pepper and whatever to eat. And then here is what it looks like cooking. What I'm gonna do with this meat here is I'm gonna use it for my spaghetti. Oh, and then uh, those hamburgers, I made hamburger patties for my son and they both are picky, but my oldest boy, he's, uh, he's 21. He's very, very picky. I mean, he, if he don't like it, he won't eat it again. And he'll tell me, don't cook it. I don't want to eat that again. But he, I asked him how were the hamburger patties, and he said, wow, they were really good. He really liked the patties. I didn't tell him anything. What did, I didn't ask him about the texture. He didn't say anything to me about the texture. I was expecting him to tell me, what were those round things in my hamburger? And I kept biting into them. He didn't tell me anything like that. He says they're really good and he liked them. And I did not mention to him that I put wheat berries in it because if he knows there's something other than <clears throat> meat in there, he might say, well, I don't know. He can change his mind or something. But they both liked it. Not, neither of them said anything because the older one, he's really like a, has an eagle eye and he'll say, he's really picky with texture. And that's why I was so surprised that he didn't say anything to me that he didn't like it because of the little balls that were in it. But, hey, he didn't notice that there was uh, wheat berries in it. So here's what it looks like. Um, again, this is going to be for spaghetti. I'm making spaghetti tonight. And wheat berries are good. I haven't read much about wheat berries, but I'm pretty sure I know they're nutritious. And it's a good way to help stretch uh, my hamburger budget with meat and having two grown sons in the house, an 18-year-old and a 21-year-old, we know that they can eat me, I know they can eat me out of the house and everything can, all my groceries can go by fast. <clears throat> anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, the wheat berries mixed with my hamburger meat was a, was a hit. And, um, yeah. And then I'll probably make some other videos regarding how I stretch my steak, the steak that I bought at uh, Winco. I'll make a video on how I try and stretch it. Anyways, I just want to give you this uh, update about the wheat berries. There they are dry. There's my little storage of them. And then that's them cooked. And that's them in crumbled hamburger, which is going to go into my spaghetti. But they were a hit as far as making hamburger patties and hamburgers with buns and mustard and onion and tomato and lettuce and all that cheese and stuff they, my boys didn't notice okay anyways i got this idea from deb uh, her youtube channel is perbain p-e-r-b-a-i-n she hasn't made any um videos lately but i got this idea from her trust me with two grown boys i really need to learn how to stretch my food all right guys have a great day bye